Hi guys, my name is Anders. I'm currently on my way around the world. I have been for the last seven months and this is my review of the VIO POV HD camera after seven months of use um, pretty much daily. First, um, shortly... Hi, I'm Anders. And um, I want to tell you just why I got this device. I got this device because it has an LCD screen so I can actually see where the camera head uh, points and what I'm filming. So I won't have camera uh, shots where it's tilting or it's pointing the wrong way and uh, and so on. It also has this feature that was the selling feature for me that I can record all day. Uh, putting it on my bike I can record all day and if something happens then I can hit a button and it can save not only from the point of where I hit the button and forward but it actually saves backwards uh, because it records into these loops. So that means if I see something on the road I can push, push, punch the button and I'll get whatever uh, material has been leading up to the incident, the incident and after the incident. That was a really nice feature and this is why I got this camera. It also has nice picture quality equivalent to the GoPro if you ask me and that's what kind of I use to justify uh, spending $600 which is the most expensive of the helmet cameras uh, out there. However, I've learned some things that would seriously have me reconsider uh, buying this device if I were to do it again. One thing is that there's no internal battery in this thing. That means whenever I disconnect the battery, change batteries, whenever I disconnect the 12 volt charger, whenever I turn off the bike that I have now, it means that it resets the date to January 1st, 2000. So in effect, that means that as I drive along, if I don't set the date every time I turn my bike back on, and imagine how many times that it, every time I get gas, every time I stop, every time I stall, whatever that might be, every time that happens, I have to go in, I have to reset the date for the pictures, uh, for the video, not to be in like one big mess. For it to be chronological, I have to do this all the time. It's a major pain in the ass. I ended up, I had to get this 12 volt uh, converter uh, also, so I can roll 12 volt on it and it cost me another 50 bucks. The original battery lasts no more than an hour, an hour and a half, um, if you wanna go filming on that. Um, the picture quality, it shows things up close, really nice, crisp and clear, but everything that's more than, say, five, 10 meters away, uh, that's 30, 30 feet, is just, it's not very clear and, um, and nice. And here is um, one of my beefs I got with the VIO now. Uh, they warn you about the plug here being pretty fickly that you should be careful um, whoops how you um, how you tighten it and I have been but it turns out it's not actually the plug that's fickly but it's the cord it might be something to do with warm and cold weather I feel the cord is getting very very uh, stiff when you get into cold weather and warm weather it gets much more soft but what has happened is that the cord inside here even though I've had um, a clamp on it like this um, from the beginning, it's broken the uh, the cables inside, which basically means that I have no audio ability on the cable now, and that the video once in a while uh, craps out unless I put it like this with a strap in the exact right position. So uh, what makes this even worse, I think, is that on this $600 camera, when I called a VIO and asked them if they could uh, replace this unit, they did not want to replace it until they'd seen it. Um, which I guess is kind of okay, but it doesn't really work for me as I am traveling and being a filmmaker, I cannot go without this camera, uh, without this camera head um, for, that, for that long time as it would take me to send it from South America back to the US. Another thing is that VIO doesn't have any dealer network worth speaking of. Um, so I've had a really hard time. If I could just walk in a store, get one of these, get, you can get the camera head, which is the 150 bucks. Uh, if I could get one of this, I'd buy it and I'd have to see what would happen with, um, with the warranty. But this um, inability to help someone who's bought it kind of, kind of flipped me off a little bit, uh, especially since I've spent 600 bucks on, uh, on, um, on this here camera. Um, to be honest, I also think it's a bit bulky with the, with the cords and, uh, and all of that. So reconsidering, I might, I might have gone back and get the... Um, the GoPro, just because simply because it's smaller, it's smaller to have in your back. And the upside, though, on having a cape like this is you can make some cool shots from some low angles and and stuff like that, where you can still see on the screen what the angle is going to look like before you shoot it. 
but but um, the two biggest problems for me is the quality on the cable. I looked online. There seem to be a lot of other people who had the same problem with the with bad cords, and that they don't just accept it and and help me send a new one, and I can send this one back afterwards. It it um, it kind of kills this deal for me. And then big time that whenever I shut off the camera or shut off the bike, the the date resets. So this basically what this means to me is that this camera is a great camera if you are a skater or a mountain biker or something like that. But if you want to use it for for serious use uh, somewhere where you need to use the image uh, images for something, then it's a bit of a risk to uh, to bring this. And to be honest, I think it's a bit bulky also. It, just in the end, to be uh, try to be fair to the camera, it has a cool feature. It has a little remote control um, with it where you can start and stop um, the recording. And um, I've been using that one a bunch uh, also. But but all in all, this is the VIO POV HD camera. Be careful with it resetting the date. Uh, customer service being pretty slack and uh, having a really bad cable here with goes with. Um, with a with a bad mic, uh, I managed to hook this up with uh, a little microphone I bought. Put it on the bike like this. Uh, it works kind of, but it would have been nicer to do it all in the camera. Uh, the original microphone had a lot of wind noise. Uh, when you get over 50 kilometers an hour, something like that, it's all. <laughs> so if there's possible possibility to buy like a dead cat um, windscreen to put around or something like that, it would be. It would be real nice. And actually, one more thing that I just come to think of now. Whenever I go off-road, oftentimes it shakes the the memory card and it just it says no memory card, even though there is a memory card in it. Then i got to shut down the unit and power it back, back up and then it's uh, back online. And, um, yeah, and whenever you, you, if you've got a recording going, you lose power, then it's going to mess up that file and you're not going to get anything out of it. So... For example, if you're on a bike and you take a you take a dive, you you crash, then you turn off the bike, for example, or the bike turns off itself, or it comes off the 12 volt here, then it pretty much it means that that footage, which which is the best footage you can have of all, is not going to be on the device. So think a bit about that, and it might uh, be smarter for you guys to get something else. I'm really uh, hoping that that VIO will see this and uh, will come back to me and say sure we'll help you with a new uh, camera head but um, <laughs> let's see if they if they look at the YouTube for little fish like me but that's um, my review of the POV HD camera from VIO after 40,000 kilometers and seven months of use oh and you can just see this is where I made the review this is on a mountain in Ecuador. If you guys have another experience with this device, please put it down there. And um, especially if you'd have solutions or something like that for uh, some of the audio problems I've had or, or the, the resetting the date, then I'd really love to hear it down here. And of course, if it isn't right what I'm saying, but that's the experience that I've had, that's the problems that I've had. And you should know that before you shell out another 600 bucks on the most expensive camera uh, out there for helmet camera.